Hello everybody, welcome to Goldberg Early Childhood Center's Nighttime Stories, our neighborhood edition. And we are super excited to have Sharon and Jean here with us today with their pet therapy dogs. These dogs come and visit us every Thursday and we can't wait for you to get to know them. So Sharon and Jean, can you introduce us to your dogs? Sure, this is Willow. Willow is an eight-year-old uh, lab mix. She's a girl. She's super happy to be here today. She just loves to be pet. And this is Henry. Henry is a Dachshund Chihuahua mix. He's nine years old, and we've been coming to the J for several years now. This is Willow. She's a Labrador Retriever mix. She's about eight years old. Um, she was adopted from a shelter and has been living with me for about six years. And she just loves to come um, here to the J and to go to the hospital and see all kinds of people and get petted. And what people say about Willow is that she has the softest fur and especially the softest ears. This is Henry. He's nine years old. I got Henry when he was 14 weeks old. So I've had Henry all his life, and he loves visiting the hospitals, uh, especially the Scottish Rite, which is children's, and he loves coming to the J. And um, Henry will, come here, Henry. Henry, can you sit pretty? Sit pretty. So Henry likes to sit pretty. Partners is a national organization that they certify or register, I'm sorry, they register our dogs so that we can go into various places such as hospitals, the Jewish Community Center, nursing homes, and visit with people. By evaluating it, it means our dogs have passed certain tests so that we know they're going to be predictable, they'll be reliable, and we don't have to worry about them hurting somebody. So what kind of tests did they have to pass? The test is about 50% behavior or obedience, so like sit, stay, come, um, all of the common commands, and then the other half is temperament, making sure that they want to be doing this kind of job and that they're good around all different kinds of people, all different kinds of contact, uh, petting, hugging, and that they're good around um, medical equipment like wheelchairs and walkers. Remember? Uh, I decided to become a pet partner because when I adopted Willow, um, I was just looking for another family pet. But um, very soon after I adopted her, I realized that she wanted to not just spend time with me, but to meet every person that we saw on a walk. She wanted to go with me everywhere, and she just loves all kinds of people. And uh, I decided that I wanted to share her with, with everybody, that she had so much love to give. So um, we found out about uh, Pet Partners and uh, spent about a year training, and then we took the test, so here we are. Yeah. With Her Henry is my second therapy dog, my first therapy dog crossed the Rainbow Bridge, and I know how much I love working with uh, Yogi, so I started training Henry, and Henry just took to it, and he takes his job very seriously. When he gets his harness on, he knows we're working, and uh, he just, he so enjoys coming here to the J specifically. Uh, he likes all the different ages he gets to see. It's not just one age group he gets to see from young children up to grandma and grandpas. And we've brought a book for the kids today called May I Pet Your Dog? All right, everybody, are you ready to hear the book? Wolf, I'm a dog, but I'm not just any dog. I'm a long-haired, chocolate, dappled dachshund. My name is Harry, and I want to be your friend. Do you want to be my friend? Yes. Good, I'll show you how.
When you see me coming, ask my owner, may I pet your dog? Don't worry, she'll say yes. I'm a little shy, but I like meeting new people, and I like kids the best. Okay, go ahead and ask. May I pet your dog? Yes, you may. Harry loves children. See, I told you she'd say yes. Here's what to do next. Hold your hand out with your fingers down. Let me come and sniff it. That's how I learn about the world. I use my nose. I feel safe with you. You can pet me now. Harry's wagging his tail the way he does when he's happy. I like to be scratched on my back. Please come to me from the side. Don't reach over my head. That scares me. I'm soft, right? You're gentle. That's a good thing. Always be gentle with dogs. Here comes my friend Twigs. Do you want to meet her? Ask her owner. May I pet your dog? May I pet your dog? Yes, you may. Twigs can be wiggly and jumpy because she's just a puppy, but she's very sweet. Do you remember what to do next? That's right. Hold your hand out with your fingers down. Let Twigs come and sniff it. Whoops, Twig likes you too much. She's jumping up to lick you. She's misbehaving. Her owner will tell her what to do. Twig, sit. Good dog. You can pet Twigs now. Twigs is so happy, she's wiggling her whole body. Funny Twigs. Chester is coming this way. He's big, right? He's nice too, but don't take my word for it. Always ask the owner. May I pet your dog? Sure, Chester would like that. He's a gentle giant. You know what to do. Hold your hand out with your fingers down. Let Chester come and sniff it. Chester's big, but don't be scared. Most dogs have a favorite petting spot. Ask if Chester has one. Does Chester have a favorite spot? He likes to be stroked on his shoulder. Look, Chester's thumping his back paw really fast. That means you found his favorite spot. It's time for Chester and Twigs to go. Do you want to say goodbye? Bye Chester, bye Twigs. Here comes a dog I don't know. I'm not sure she's friendly. I'll see if my nose knows. Sniff, sniff, I don't smell a friend. You know what to ask. May I pet your dog? Oh no, I'm sorry. Bessie's uncomfortable with strangers. Did you hear that growl? That means don't come near me. Don't even look at me. We'll turn away our eyes. We'll turn away our heads. We'll stay perfectly still and quiet until she passes. Okay, she's gone. Now it's just us again. Do you want to see me do a trick? Ask my owner. Can Harry do a trick? Sure, you can help him. Hold out your hand and say, paw, please. Paw, please. Good job. I hear growling and barking. It's a dog guarding a car. 
Some dogs can be unfriendly when they are guarding what's theirs. Never when you're a dog in a car or a truck. I see another dog we shouldn't say hello to now. That dog is working and can't stop to meet us. She's guiding someone who cannot see. Do not interrupt a dog who is working. Hey, you know what? You and I are good friends now, aren't we? That's what can happen when you say, may I pet your dog? Bye, Harry. It's time to go, Harry. Say goodbye. Harry and his friends say, if you ever see a dog without an owner, stay away. Never put your face close to a dog's face. Be considerate, be safe. Stay away from a dog who is sleeping, eating, caring for puppies, or chewing a bone, a toy, or a stick. Don't run or shout around dogs. If you are ever frightened of a dog, turn your head and look away. Then stay perfectly still and quiet. Make believe you are a tree, or curl up on the ground and be a rock. A dog may sniff a tree or a rock, but he will not hurt or chase one. Be gentle, be kind. Remember, dogs have feelings too. Well, we hope you enjoyed our story and we hope to see you around the J. Thanks, Thanks for, for tuning in, in to Nighttime, Nighttime Stories. Stories. Good night. Good night.